Welcome everybody. This is Keith from 2A Cops, Cops Supporting Gun Rights. And in this episode, I got some great news. The leader of the ATF, Dealback, Dadoback, whatever the heck that guy's name is, he's getting pulled into Congress to answer questions about why they are violating case law set forth in uh, West Virginia versus EPA. So let's get into it. Let's talk about what's going on. So Republicans Jim Jordan of Ohio uh, and Thomas Massey of Kentucky, they sent a letter to ATF demanding that the agency's head testifies before Congress. Now, Jordan is the chairman of the committee and Massey holds a subcommittee gavel and they demanded that Stephen Dettelbach, Dettelbach, whatever his name is, appear before the House Judiciary Committee along with several other agency officials. This is good news, my friends. In a letter that we obtained, the lawmakers wrote that they have written the ATF with several requests for information and documents regarding the agency's efforts to regulate firearms through the rulemaking process, and that they have additional questions requiring Deedle backs and other agencies' official testimony. They continue, and they just rip them. The ATF's lack of transparency comes after the agency issued a final rule banning stabilizing braces, and as the agency continues to shut down lawful businesses through the zero tolerance policy for FFLs. Basically, what they're saying is, is the ATF has been going out and doing inspections on FFLs and any minor violation, they have been just cr uh, creaming these FFLs and taking their licenses when they've never done it before. So they continue on that just last year, the United States Supreme Court held in West Virginia versus EPA that under the major questions doctrine, given both separation of powers, principles, and practical understanding and legislative intent, the agency must point to a clear congressional authorization for the authority of claims. They're laying it down. You violated a U.S. Supreme Court case decision. And what basically a case decision is, is, is a court is saying that you have to abide by these rules and law enforcement has to go within those rules. I spent my entire career, 30 years of following case law and, and doing the courts, you know, doing what the court interpreted for us to do. It's a basic skill that every cop has. Read a case decision, abide by that case decision. Somehow the ATF didn't get that message and they're doing whatever they want. They essentially, if Dadelback, Dadelback was my rookie or, you know, was an officer on my shift, I would probably be getting ready to fire him for everything that he's doing because he's absolutely violating case law. It's nice to see some legislators getting in there and hammering him. So they're going to have to appear before committee on April 26. Now, we told you in a prior video that when we told you, we advised you that you might want to wait. You were given 120 days to go ahead and register that through the ATF scam. We told you to hold off and wait till like day 119 before you did anything, because this is probably going to get hammered out somewhere else. Now, they're getting pulled in on April 26th. I don't expect the ATF to reverse their decision based on getting called into committee. But this, these are the firing salvos of Congress throwing some rounds across the ATF's bow to stop what they're doing, because it's illegal and it's wrong. And we all know it. OK, so. My final advice to you, just like the prior videos, you have 120 days from the time their rule came out to register it. We felt that that was illegal, what the ATF was doing. We laid out why we thought that was illegal, and we told you to wait to let things hash out. There are several lawsuits still pending. I still believe that there is going to be a temporary restraining order placed by a court that's going to say, stop what you're doing, ATF, and it's going to make everything a mute point. Okay, but know that Congress is acting on things. This is good news, people. We're finally trying. We got some people getting ready to pull the ATF under control. So go ahead, hit like, subscribe, follow, uh, leave a comment because it lets the algorithm know we're important and it gets more people to see the message that we're putting out. So that's all I've got for now. You guys stay safe. Take care.